All right, in this video, let's talk about the two major kinds of databases. And this one we'll call R for relational, and this one is DW for data warehouse. Now, what do these two things have in common? Well, quite a lot, actually. Their core structure is the table. They both have tables. They both have tables that relate to one another. Relate to one another. Both of them defined are database. We'll call this DB are nothing more than containers. This is the definition. Containers that store objects. That is the definition of all databases. So I'm going to ask you an interview. What's a database? It's a container for objects. What kind of objects? Lots. The table one being the most widely known and, of course, the most important because without that, you don't have a database. So what's the difference between the two? Well, these are operational tasks. Operational. Meaning these are often production prod databases that have applications that have apps attached to them that are doing business work, business as usual work. Let's take a, an example of Amazon.com. Now, I'm not sure what they're using. I'm not sure if they're using relational databases or not, but this is a good example. I am a customer and my name is in this database. I order products, products, a lot actually and the products are stored here and when i order something i want it to be fast i want it to come here to the products i want it to go to whatever table it needs to go to in order for them to process it and then i want it to go to shipping ship so ship my stuff now in order to do that these tables have to be small and by small i mean few columns right because we want this to be fast relational databases need to be fast and to do that, they need to be not wide. They need to be small in terms of their columns, right? Because we want this, this whole process to happen as quickly as possible. This is a process. We want to happen as quickly as possible so I can get my shit. What about the data warehouse? Well, data warehouses are analytical. They're for analytics. They're not for business as usual. They're not for operations. They've got historical data, historical, and that data, historical, spelled wrong, who cares? You get the idea. This is data, this historical data often comes from relational databases, and we come from other places too, but most of the time we'll have relational databases in the organization feed these data warehouses so we can do analytics on our data that we've captured here for our daily processes. These are reports. We often do reports on these. These are report databases. Most of the, well, many of these databases are designed a little differently. Yes, they have tables, but these tables are what's called, well, at least in the big ones, columnar. Now, if you want to get more information on that, go ahead and look up columnar databases so you can understand how the data in these tables are laid down on disk. It's different than how it's done relationally. So what are some kinds of relational databases? Well, SQL. SQL Server is a relational database. How about uh, Oracle? Oracle's got a few of them. How about uh, MySQL? How about Postgres? Relational. Data Warehouse is a big query. Big query. One of my favorites from Google is a data warehouse. How about one of the fastest growing databases? How about Snowflake? Snowflake is a data warehouse, right? It's a data warehouse and it lives on the big three cloud vendors and they are AWS for Amazon, Azure for Azure for Microsoft, and then of course GCP, GCP for Google. All right, it's it's awesome. All right, it's a lot like BigQuery. Really, it's these are just big tables. Now, obviously we can go a lot deeper, but this for most entry level interviews. That's all you really need to know about the differences between relational and data warehouses.